In a perfect world, overlevel phantoms would not exist. But this is not a perfect world. In a perfect world, the DLC would bring back six player worlds. But this is not a perfect world. In a perfect world, the DLC would bring back covenants. But this is not a perfect world. I hope everybody is doing good today. I have a question for you. While it is extremely unlikely that we actually get covenants back in the DLC, I want to entertain the idea of what if we did actually? What if we did get some covenants and we were able to have a great time? Well, in that case, let's theorize about the covenants that would make the game so much more long lasting with its PvP better, all that jazz, you know what I'm saying? So, first things first, we're going to talk about my favorite covenant from any of the Souls games that I want to see make a return. Now, granted, this would have to be changed to make sense with the lore, and probably have some of its functionalities changed, but Grave Lording. Grave Lording, in my opinion, was the best PvP-related covenant that we ever had. Um, and the thing is, is that my personal favorite thing to do is being a solo host. Uh, I, I like being the host because when I invade other people, usually hosts are not being very cash money. They are usually sitting in one spot with their overlevel boyfriends, uh, just spamming spells and, you know, just not generally being very, uh, very epic invasions. But when I'm the host, I'm doing what I already love doing, which is running through the game and I'm getting PvP. So I'm having a great time. However, something that Elden Ring has done that has completely killed a huge part of my enjoyment for these games, which is is to solo host, is by making it to where even once I turn the taunter's tongue on, which most people are not going to do, like, most people are not going to do that, unless you get a phantom in the world or a blue in the world, you can only have one damn summon, which is so stupid, in my opinion. Like, one invader, I mean to say. That, that is just ridiculous to me. So if they were to add something that is reminiscent of the Gravelord Covenant, where it would allow you to solo host and say all three slots uh, were to be for invaders, people trying to kill you. Like, dude, that would be so fun at the Halleck Tree. Like, I can already see it in my mind's eye. Like, even if the game were to stay four-player world, which seems very likely uh, based on some information from the that I got from somebody. It seems very likely that it's going to stay four-player world, unfortunately. Even still, survivalists would, would rejo rejoice if they did not have to summon blues or a phantom or th something like that. Like, I know it's a minority of the community, but... It, it's some of the most fun you can have, in my opinion. So that is something that would make me so happy. Um, now, granted, obviously, there are aspects of it that would need to change. Perhaps it would need to just be an extremely scaled back version of of the Gravelord Covenant, where it's not actually like Gravelording, Gravelording. You know, like it's not adding red phantoms. If it, if they were to make some excuse to allow a covenant like that to add red phantoms in the world that would be sick that'd be so sick but you know i'm, I'm not counting on uh <laughs> i'm not counting on from software to do something that cool it's not like grave lording was on was in any of the games other than dark souls one but yeah that would make me oh so happy because that that right there is like a survivalist's dream that that covenant there Another covenant I'd like to see come back is the Champion Covenant from Dark Souls 2. I thought it was a really nice change of pace having a covenant that was dedicated to PvEers that wanted a more difficult time. Now granted, Elden Ring is a game that does have, you know, let, let's just say a teensy bit of bullshit when it comes to like certain enemies and how they roll catch and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like every single enemy in this game 
can be uh, like zero hit. Like watching watching people who are like really good PVEers, like uh, no hit Melania or other bosses, is just super impressive and makes me realize, hey, maybe I'm just bad at the game actually. And I bet people that both both people like me and also people that are better than me that just want more of a challenge would really enjoy if they brought back a covenant that say made enemies more hyper aggressive or say made them uh have now this might be a bad idea but uh have like less downtime between attacks like making them more aggressive just something to make it a bit harder for the people that want that you know what i'm saying so i think that that'd be a fantastic inclusion into elden ring I think that there are a lot of areas in Elden Ring that could also have a type of covenant on the lines of, like, the uh, Aldrich Faithfuls or the Watchdogs of Farron, uh, where it's like a, a region-based invasion covenant where they can't hit each other, which generally means that they're a pretty good, uh, a pretty good covenant for people that are trying to dip their toes into the PvP. Because when you're not able to hit your teammates due to you being a dumbass, that, that tends to give you enough breathing space to, to see if you like this whole invasion business. Now granted, Aldrich Faithfuls and Watchdogs of Farron tended to be some of the most uh, annoying people to get in Dark Souls 3 as a, as a fellow Red, because they would always attack you for some reason. Uh, but I do think that the, these types of covenants or something similar would allow for a, a good entry point for some of these invaders to uh, realize that, hey, maybe your co-invaders are not the enemy, actually. Like, believe that. But <laughs> Believe it or not, they are not your enemy. Um, like, some areas that I could totally see having a regionable... Reg, regionable? Wow, man. I'm, I'm on some, some crazy shit right now. Uh some regions that I could see having this type of covenant, I could see it with a lot of the legacy dungeons like Halig Tree, Lendale, uh, Stormvale, stuff like that. I could see it with Volcano Manor, but also if there were to be a Grave Lording Covenant and Elden Ring, I also would see it being intermixed with either Rykard or Deathblight. Um, I don't actually understand the lore that much, but I, I have a gut feeling that if they were to add something like that, it would be tied to one of those two things. Um, yeah, and, and the thing is, is that like the legacy dungeons in this game are hands down the best places for invasions. Uh, like, so much better than open fields or in, in the majority of caves and catacombs and stuff like that. Um... So they would also just be fantastic candidates for this type of content, too. Now, another thing that I honestly would be surprised if it didn't make a return, because this for some reason just seems more likely to me to be in the DLC than, uh, than all the other covenants, is something on the lines of the Spear of the Church, where a player gets to play as a boss, essentially. Um, that, I think is also one of the things that acts as like a really good entry point my cat's screaming right now hold up guys yeah bro my cat's acting crazy right now so anyway um yeah i, I was talking to somebody about it recently and it actually tends to be a really good uh spot to essentially force people to come into contact with uh with pvp and kind of get an idea of what it's all about you know because, especially in this game where people can just literally opt out of PvP, it would be valuable to have a, a boss fight that essentially forces you to kind of get in there and at least start understanding what it's all about. Uh, so I think that that would be something that would be a little bit surprising if it wasn't in the DLC. Like, if there was one covenant in all of Elden Ring to be added... It seems like it'd be something on those lines. Now, this isn't so much a covenant as much as it is an idea. Um, something that they did with just about every single one of these games that I'm not actually that big of a fan of is essentially this sort of like three-stage progression with each covenant where you get some sort of effect at 10, 30, and 80 of uh, 
like getting this amount of say covenant item right and then offering it to whichever person or statue um i think that it would be a lot more intuitive and rewarding of a system if it was actually just that uh, the different coven covenants had like a shop right so say like uh if there were to be just a like standard invader covenant it would probably be something involving moog right um if say like trading in rune arcs or whatever uh the item drop would be for moog's covenant if they would make it to where those items can be traded at a sort of shop where you're able to get pretty darn valuable items uh weapons armor stuff like that in exchange for this this type of item right so say for example being able to finally be able to buy golem arrow starlight shard stuff like this because the the truth of the matter right is that they they would be completely out of their mind if they made it to where if they did not make it to where you are able to uh get these items easily because the thing is is that people already are getting them easily by duping so it leaves people who want to play legitimately at a gigantic disadvantage right because either you spend a quadrillion hours farming for something that other people got just by entering a discord and saying hey can someone hit me up or you just don't get to play with those items and that's not good so uh i think an actual like covenant shop for the different covenants would be a huge step up and and would patch one of the biggest problems that elden ring has which is its item crafting and its item consumables that just like there's essentially no reason to not dupe because items are just so laborious to get in this game so i think that that would be a good solution a, a good possibility for them to fix that but yeah with that being said that is some of the biggest ideas that i've had as of recent so if you guys have any other ideas let's let's talk about it in the comment section because hey covenants would go dummy in Elden Ring. I won't lie. Like they they would go stupid. And so, if you've got any innovative ideas, I was mostly focusing on bringing back certain things in this uh episode. If you've got like completely like out there ideas as to what they could do, then post it in the comments. And while you're at it, drop a uh follow on the Twitch because I'm usually doing stuff at least 3 times a week and it's always a good time. So, with that being said, I hope you have a guy I hope you uh, have a guys. Wow, I'm so good at my one and only language. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. There's only one proper thing to do in this situation. Dude, I only use bows. Like I never. I am so fucking oh, good at this oh, game. What a shot. What a oh. Shot.